Hi everyone, it's me Jill. Welcome to Creating with Love, YouTube stuff first. If you like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Your comments help this channel. Comment below. Share, 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 please everyone. It helps people grow. Come and join my Facebook group, Creating with Love Crafting, and see us on Instagram. Just a reminder, people, my crafty crafters, please make sure you stay, make sure you check on your subscription, because YouTube is unsubscribing people for some reason. I notice my, my subscribers go up and down and up and down, and I notice that my subscribers from the bigger YouTubers are unsubscribed now, so I kind of have to go and uh, see if they unsubscribe. Stop it. So here's another <clears throat> Simplicity Girl prayer journal um, flip through. These are from the 70s and 80s. We're going to go through the 70s first, then the 80s. These women right here were from um, envelopes that I had bought full of patterns, and these were on the front. These were Simplicity and Butterwick and Vogue. So we're going to go through each one of them quickly. I don't remember which ones these were from. I put these two girls here together like this because this one was talking to another girl, and I don't think that uh, these were on the front. I don't think she was talking to this one, but she was on the front of an envelope and she's beautiful. Don't you just love the colors on her? And so she looks like she's talking to her friend. I used this Chevron pattern from let me see, Park Lane Everyday Essentials Paper Pad. I used a lot of this paper and I still have a lot left. There, That's from Joann's. And this is from the uh, Goodwill, this trim. This was from a skirt. I don't like what I did here, but I can't get it off. <laughs> so I just used this from a skirt. So we're going to go through the 70s one first, then we're going to go through the 80s on this video. So, remember I use uh, envelopes that come to my home, the, the, you know, the business mailing envelopes. And I put the girls like that on um, a journal and card like this. So this is ice cream wholesale and retail. Um, these come from out of one of my, I can't remember which one I cut this out of. Okay, so, but it does come from one of my double-sided paper, oh, vintage. Let's see, DCVW vintage, vintage memories. This from Joann's. These are, I don't know if they're Butterwick. Um, let's just say that they're Simplicity and Butterwick and Vogue. That's what I picked up from the Goodwill. And I fussy cut out all the girls. These two were together on the front of an envelope and they were in good shape. So I used them. So they go in this um, small tuck spot I made like this and they go in the window so that when you flip the window you see the girls okay this one says vogue all right but they're not all vogue they're like i said butterwick simplicity and that so i used uh some of the instructions of the patterns some tea dye paper okay then this is from the book called French Soiree, Handmade French Soirees. So I cut this girl out, but her, part of her arm was already cut off. 
Um, so I kind of put her over here in the corner, kind of like saying, hey, I'm standing, you know, near the bushes and I am beautiful. She is. And I put doilies in, and I think all of them. And this was a um, piece, and this says fine join the little things. This was a piece that I cut out like this because it was like this. It was in one of my double-sided paper pads. So these are journal cards. Now I gotta go back here. This says pray right here. And here's a girl in a jumper. I used to have to wear these when I was going to school when I was little. These are leotards, a jumper dress, and a shirt under it. I remember wearing that. <laughs> so here's a girl. She was only on, you know, she was, uh, the bottom half of her was kind of like wrecked, I think. I'm not sure, but I used her to make her look like she was looking out a window and there were drapes behind her. I don't know <laughs> if I did good enough, but um, there you have it. I kind of like her and she has that 70s hairstyle with the blouse. I remember my mom wearing stuff like that. So, and so on. I had to fix the light. It's getting dark. So here's more of, here's a tuck spot I made on this and I put a piece of designer paper here and here's some more. Um, this is kind of like a receipt here. All claims for shortage or damage must be made in receipt of goods. Mm, something this is 1890 I guess I don't know it's a receipt kind of like from back in the day and more uh, cardstock double-sided so here's some more cardstock and some of these page pages are shorter than the other pieces of pages um, come on oh my kitty went and laid down in the other chair thank God She's always jumping on me. Here's some more. This comes out of, I don't know where this came out of, but there's a bunch of, you know, papers that I use. It's not double-sided, so it came out of one of the Park Lane pieces that I got. And they're thick, and they, that's not the Ledger one. It's the Park Lane Everyday Essentials, I think. I don't know, guys. But I tea dyed all this paper. And this seems pretty grungy, but I like it. This is lined paper. So I tea dyed it, stuck it in the oven to dry it. This is your uh this is your embroidery floss I used in the middle. And it kind of goes with the cover. With this cover, this color. Okay, so that's the embroidery that I did three stitches or like three hold two stitches I don't know so this is uh this is another outfit from the 80s more lined paper face can move mountains more paper from one of my vintage things I think this is from my ledger yes it's from my Park Lane, I can't read it, uh, the ledger one that I got, and it's got an advertisement in it. And then here's another outfit uh, from the 80s, or 70s, not 80s. These are 70s. Here's a postcard, and then two more outfits from the 70s. This is a journal card, a little bit distressed, not much. And all these papers came from a different one. Um, I think it was um, from the home, Pretty Home from DCWV. 
So these girls were from the front of a thing, and here's some more of the here's some more of the um, instructions for the patterns that come with it. Here's another tuck spot that I cut out. Um, I just cut around the patterns in the paper and used it that way. And then some more ledger pieces. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, here's a girl with a tie. And then, I remember these outfits. These are ones you sew, but I remember Mama wearing these. And then some more tea dyed paper. And here's another dress. Dresses got kind of plain, but I wanted all the, I wanted to make these journals. Here's um here's a piece. My mother got these. She found it and then I found them in the same thrift shop. These type of rolls of these types of rolls of fabric. I don't know what they call, but I like using them. They put a little bit more pizzazz on your paper. And I put put it on with Fabri-Tac. And then I put her on there with Fabri-Tac. And this is a tuck spot. Oh, I can't get these out. Why not? So some more poor postcards from... I can't... It's the same... Oh. It's the same thing. All right, so I can't remember where these postcards came out of, but I like them. This is a business envelope it's on. And you'll see when I take things out, you can see the business envelope. I made a belly band with that same material. And another journal card I made. This is weird. I don't know where these came out of because they're really thick and they're double-sided. I just cut them out. I was like, ooh, I like these. And I cut them out. I think they're in my vintage pack uh, from DCWV. From Joann's. Then you go back here, and here's one of these 60s to 70s outfits. I remember these. I remember someone in my neighborhood wearing that. And a hummingbird coming to see her with this pattern paper from Everyday Essentials Park Lane. And then this sticker came from Hobby Lobby. The whole pack was $1.50 because it was on sale half off. Paper Studio brand, take delight in the Lord, and he will give you to the desires of your heart. Psalm 37 4. And that's the end of this one. I didn't use a wraparound for these um, because it was difficult to find something that would match. Here's the 80s. Now, wait a minute. Did I say 80s or 70s? This one's 70s. This one's 80s. I'm sorry if I messed up in the middle of this. So, we have a few more minutes. We can flip through this one real quick. Here's one of the flowers that my friend uh, Luz Ramos sent from South. She gave me a care package. Um, Happy Mail. She gave me... She's the one that started me on this junk journal stuff. Thank you, Luz. So this says, be bold. Like, ask for what you want from God. Be bold. And this flower came from her. I used all the flowers up, Luz, by the way. I love them. So this is another journal card. I took this piece of paper that was out of my Walmart. Um, I got to remember. Modern Millinery Signature Paper. And it's double-sided. And then I put her on it so that she looks like she's in front of a bush or, or flowers. Okay. And then I made a tuck spot here with two pieces of paper. Here is a um, business envelope. 
and then you just flip this way and here's another um, here's another packet and see I don't stitch anything because I don't have anything to stitch with I don't have a sewing so everything is glued or fabric tacked and here is a simplicity page out of that vintage um, no wait a minute this one was out of the yeah the millennia one millinery modern millinery I'm sorry okay this was out of modern millinery this was out of uh, one of the park lane not every day but it, it says maps texts and ledgers and it also had things like this in it and this one was just a scrap that I was using earlier out of another paper pad it was a hot buy and I can't remember the name of that one so here is another more instructions for the patterns and this one I don't know what it is I don't know if it's Simplicity or Vogue or Butterwick. So here's some more <clears throat> tea dyed paper. Look how rich this is. Look how rich that came out. So there's plenty of room for you to, to write. And this paper came out of the French Handmade Soirees book. I used the papers in each and every of these books. So here's one of those uh, silk butterflies that I got from the Goodwill. And I put him on top of her. And I really think that that outfit's pretty. It, it is a 1980s. I remember those. And um, here's a little butterfly from the Dollar Tree. And then a doily. And then on this side, some pretty... I think you can embroider these letters and I made another little tuck spot with more pieces yeah this one this came out of my vintage paper pad from DCWV I love it so then I made a journal card and this is very tiny print. This is from, this is an eagle, by the way. And this is uh, the edging of stars. This is a star lace. And you just open it up and use it. And then here's another journal card that I made. I didn't put any lacings on it. You can just write on the back of it. Put a little glue here, huh? And then here is... God's creation take time from your busy schedule to see God's wonders here and so there's a song there's um there's scripture down here to kind of like go with the poem so I used the same little piece of material that I showed you and I put it on a piece of paper and so um I just made a tuck spot but this little eagle, like I'm telling you, this little eagle pattern, it came from the papers that I bought from the thrift store that was selling these long papers, like real long, like 15 inches long. And they were dollhouse, they were dollhouse wallpaper. I didn't know that. So here's another girl I fussy cut and put her on here. And here's some <clears throat> graph paper. Some of these aren't the same size. Here's a star I put up here. You'll see little stickers randomly in here, not as many. Here's some tea dyed line paper. Face. And then blue, which goes with this color so you see on there looks nice it blends in and more lined paper it's all tea dyed this is just distressed with ink and we're just going to keep going real quick 
because I have another book that I just finished and that's exciting. And then we have some more outfits for the 70s. <laughs> that's Butterwick. In here, I had a little lace. It was a little cardboard lace. Uh, Quaker lace. It, it held some lace in here. I used it. And then um, I just, I used the lace already. But I used this as a tuck spot. So I folded a piece of paper here that was scrap and I made another uh, journal card which was double sided already and that was on a business envelope. Forget your mistakes but remember what they taught you and then a doily and more of from that um, handmade soiree. And here's the other side of that lady, which is already over here. Watch her and her other side. So they had two images of her on one envelope. Here's some more tea dyed paper. Look how rich and dark that is, but it's not torn apart from the tea. I love it. And this is old paper. It's genuinely old. So here's a Rick Rack uh, band that went around the Rick Rack I finished using. And so I made a I made a pocket out of it. And I put Rick Rack on it with some fabri -Tac. Then I put a uh, hummingbird here because it was from that same era. That's what it looks like. And then a star. And then you have a folded piece of paper that is tea dyed. Isn't that cool? Look at those patterns. And then I made another free to be me. I had it. I made another um, journal card. And then here's just a plain old journal card. You could just write on both sides of it. So. And then we only got a couple more pages. Two more girls. And those who trust in God can do all things. And that's like an amen. And then a star up here. I used these. I had these for, I think, about three years now. And here's the last page and the end. So, guys, I hope you like these. Okay, we're going to go into prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just putting your hand back on this land and um, giving us peace and blessing us all and bringing us all to repentance and protect us all from what is going on from the top of government all the way down. The ones that are trying to do right, Father, let us do it. And Father, thank you for every single blessing you give us and every single victory in you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, amen. So guys, if you liked these, I'm going to start putting them up on my eBay. And then I will share um, somehow. I think I'll share the um, link with you. Um, on the next video. So I'm going to put them up, see if they'll fly. Um, but um, it's there's no use in me trying to hold on to all of these, you know, because it just takes up room and I just want to make more and I don't have room to put any made ones up because my stash is made of paper and my I've got so much paper and less room to, you know, store the things that I've made. But anyways, I started making things to uh, probably offset, you know, try and get a little bit of income in. Um, so hopefully it'll work this way on eBay and I can't do an Etsy because they cut me off there. So, and I don't know how to get a new one. All right, guys. So 
I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and good night everybody. God bless each and every one of you and keep creating with love.